In this video, I'm going to explain how to remove the battery modules from a Tesla Model 3 and Y battery pack. So first, you got to uh, take the pack off the car, obviously, remove the, the lid. Uh, to remove the lid, you got to unscrew all these little bolts all around, and then you have to separate out with a hammer and a chisel all the way around where this glue is. And there are a bunch of bolts at the top. And here in the back, you got to remove these high voltage connectors. Ideally, you, need to you need a special tool to remove them from the bottom. Uh, there's three of them. Or you can try breaking them down. They'll break them. Yeah. I, I was able to remove one without breaking it, but the other two broke. And then you got to remove these uh, round, uh, 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 like a pipe connectors for the coolant lines. You gotta unscrew eight millimeter bolts at the top. They're kind of difficult to access. So uh, I needed to break, basically just bend out uh, the top sheet. And uh, you gotta unscrew these uh, connect connections to these pack, uh, the terminals, there's four of them. You gotta disconnect them from the penthouse. And um, uh, what else is holding it? Oh, you gotta disconnect the BMS cables as well. And whatever is above all that stuff in the penthouse, you gotta remove that as well. For example, the PCS needs to go uh, and the contactors need to be removed, stuff like that. So yeah, so that's all that's holding the, the top down. The glue, the, the bolts, uh, these pipes, and uh, uh, the three high voltage connections. Then you have to be very careful with the packs. On the bottom, they're very fragile. They have this rubber stuff that's covering the the, the batteries, the, the, the fuses. So I actually did a little, uh, like I shorted one of the cells out right here. So I saw some sparks. So you have to be very careful to not let the battery touch the bottom casing. Uh, eventually I started putting some rubber pads underneath. And then you need to take a strap, uh, something like that, and put one on one side, another one on another side, and two people need to lift out the module, one on each end. Oh, and of course you gotta remove these uh, these coolant lines, and then the front that was here, there's one here, and then you gotta remove these coolant lines as well for the center modules. And then to remove the modules, you gotta disconnect the buses that, that connect the, the modules in the front. And I haven't removed the, the middle, the inner modules yet, but supposedly this piece comes out, and then you, you need to put the straps underneath the module and pull it out like this. Tilt it out and pull it out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post in comments.